All right, so Beethoven and Bach are in love. They're in love with music. They sit at their instruments and they just stare into space and they're so in love. Beethoven enjoys working with Bach. Bach enjoys working with Beethoven. But oh no, there's a third person. Bach starts looking over there like, ooh, look at that person over there. Mozart, hmm, his love for music is wonderful. Huh, should I keep working with Beethoven? You know what? The love that Beethoven has and the chemistry and the compatibility and the synergy between Beethoven and Bach on this side, it's, it's less than. My interest in Mozart is less than what I have for Beethoven, so we'll stay together. But if the situation happens where Beethoven and Bach are working one day at the park, and Bach sees Mozart and says, oh, my interest in working with Mozart is greater it's greater, I'm going to split up with Beethoven. What does that mean? When you see a math problem today, an absolute value inequality, class, what symbol is this? Greater than. Are they going to stay together or split up? If their interest in the other person is great, you will split up. Now split up does not mean what we learned yesterday. Yesterday was to isolate the absolute value and we broke it into a positive and negative. Yes? Yeah. Yesterday's lesson? The splitting up means when you graph its solutions, it's split. So again, the big idea that I just showed to you in that story is the inequality split tells you based on the graph. Not this. You will always do that for absolute values, right? Because there's a positive and negative argument.